Hello everybody. Welcome to Ike Bakuro. I'm here inside the station. I'm gonna be taking you on an amazing street view walk of the Ike Bakuro neighborhood as passengers get off the train right here. Check it out. Ike Bakuro is one of the big neighborhoods of the city of Tokyo. There's Shibuya, Shinjuku, uh, Harajuku, Ueno, uh, Harajuku to a lesser extent, Ginza. These are all big places and Ike Bakuro is one of them. It, it's a little bit further out of the way uh, kind of isolated, but in Toshima uh, Ward. But we're gonna take a walk here, and uh, I'm gonna hopefully show you as much as I can of the west side. Now it's famous for this Sunshine 60. Do you see this in the center of your screen? This is a complex of four buildings built in 1978. And we're gonna uh, explore that area on the outside. Ikebukuro Station is a maze. Check that out. That is. What it, that's, I don't know how you get out of here. You have to really understand where you're gonna go before you plan to come here, or else you could be trapped forever inside this maze. How you doing, guys? Uh, this is a, it, when you, end, when you uh, arrive at the station by subway, there are a lot, Metro has a lot of really good signs to help you navigate around here. So let's get moving. Follow that escalator to the top there. Now, the J JR line does come here on the Yamanote line. So you shouldn't have any problems getting around. If you have a JR pass. But Metro also comes here on the Yura Yurakucho line and the Maruna Uchi and the Fukutoshin lines also stop here. No, I just have to find my ticket. <laughs> Where did I put my ticket? Can I help me? I can't find my ticket. Here it is. Don't worry. <laughs> I got on the train here. All right. I'll wait a line and the... Oh. So sometimes if you don't pay enough, you have to go to a fair adjustment. Oh, that's right. I switched where I was going to go. I was going to go to Kichi Joji today, but instead I came here. So these are called fair adjustments. Um, I, I, lo I can't find my suika today. Norikoshi, Norituki, Norikoshi. 50 yen. Alright, just 50 yen. I, I don't know. You're welcome, computer lady. All right, this will help me get out of here. I had to pay an extra 50 yen. All right, before you leave the turn, before you leave, make sure you know which direction you're going, east or west. So this is going towards the south passage here. We're not going in that direction. Let's go this way. Boom, we're out. Oh, we're on the east side. All right, right in front of you, you're gonna see Tobu Department Store. Well, we're really on the wrong side. We got a, we got a ways to go. So Tobu, this is interesting here. The, Ikebukuro is very famous for its department stores. Tobu, the to means east, like Tokyo, Tobu, all right? And Seibu, which is the other really big department store, means west. So these are the big department stores of Ikebukuro. In fact, Seibu's head shop, department store, is here in Ikebukuro. So this could be why it's called Seibu and Tobu. It's all connected to Ikebukuro. All right, I'm trapped here already. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna have to rename this trapped in to Ikebukuro Station. All right, I don't want to go east. I want to go west. Okay, there's, there it is right there. All right. All right, we're, I, I, got my, I got my grounds. I, I know where I'm going now. I'm telling you, you can get so lost underground. There's the Japan Rail and the Seibu line, which also stops here. So you can get out this way. I hope the signal's okay. There's a lot of people around here. West exit. So look for the exit sign, so that'll help you get out of here. I see Irvin's here with us. Dokone Ikuno. I'm going to the west side of Ikebukuro. I'm not really sure. Shopping, food. If I'm not sure what I'm doing, I call it an adventure. 
it, stuff seems to happen when you go live and you're not sure. But sometimes aimlessly walking around a city is a good thing, which is what I'm doing right now. WX Turbo's in the house, nice to see ya. And you're with me on this adventure in glorious 720p. One day the YouTube app will allow me to stream at a higher resolution. Until then, YouTube app team, I'm looking at you. Hey, Fernando Keller, Keller, Fernando Keller Colas. What is the difference between the pink and the blue gates? Um, I think the pink might be if you're doing a, um, a norikai, meaning you're changing trains. But if you see right here, you can only use them with IC cards, meaning a Suica. The orange ones, sorry, the orange ones are for transfer only. Pink ones are for IC cards only. And the green ones, as you see on this side, they're for tickets. But green one is for, green one is, the, is for Japan Rail to make things more confusing. Japan Rail, their color is green, right? But I know that for Metro, orange means norikai or transfer. And pink for Seibu means, it's so confusing. It means IC card. All right, we're on the west side. Thank goodness. I think we are. It says for Sunshine City. East exit, okay. But wait, wait, east exit of the west side? What? What? Let's go west exit central. I don't... I'm, I'm lost. Sunshine City, Sunshine, Sunshine City was built in 1978 and at the time, 60 stories high, was considered Asia's tallest building. 240 meters is the height. That's quite big. And why they built it in Ikebukuro was because they had land. It was built on the site of the old Sugamo prison, which is no longer there. Of course, it is now a department store. You know what? West exit, north. You, the best thing is just to get out of here because you it's so it's so easy to get lost. I got Japan. Whoa. Do they have anything good? Not really. It's kind of average. I'm sure we're going to see some more dinosaurs and stuff. It's for kitties. All right. If you do live in Ikebukuro and you're watching, please save me. Please help me and get me out of here. All right, look, okay, outside, I see daylight. I'm just getting out of here, never mind. All right, this looks good. Someone help me. <laughs> I think we're okay. Freedom! Ascend from the depths of Ikebukuro Station to the front of it. This is where this is where I wanted to be. Hey, I can wait. No, hold on a second. Oh crap! This is the wrong side. This is the east side. Okay, so we're gonna start by showing you the east side of Ikebukuro. I used to work here at a place called Gaba a School that had an office over there. I wasn't going to plan to show you the east side, but I guess I will. This is the, the west entrance of the east side. That makes no sense. Makes no sense. That's, this is the metropolitan uh, building uh, for the arts. And uh, Kanai has danced here before. It is a massive place where you can uh, see art performances and whatnot. Ron Barr's in the house. Thank you, Ron. Thanks for joining us. The, e the um, east side of Ikebukuro is pretty lively too. There's a big camera there. Lots of fast food. 
there's even some night spots with izakayas as a street over on this side and i i'm kind of afraid to go to go through the station again to get there but i i might not have any choice ikibukuro is so massive that's the only way to get around this is also the last spot i saw um Another YouTuber friend of mine that went back to the United States, Kevin Cooney, was the last time I think I saw him was here at uh, I, the Bex Cafe on the other side. Yeah, that's an entertainment area right there. You can go check it out. Hey, Bela's here. Mom and I are joining you today as we celebrate Mom's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mrs. Bela. Your son turned out to be quite a man, and I'm really happy that you guys are both watching. I've known Bela since he was the same height. He was a freshman at college. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, I'm just really excited. Okay, let's do, we're, I'm descending the depths here. I gotta get to the other side. How did the YouTuber get to the other side? What, what is it? How did the chicken cross the road? How did the YouTuber cross Ikebukuro Station? Why? To get to the other side. I don't, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't, it sounded more funny in my head. All right, here we go. Right, that's the Metropolitan Hotel side, the Metropolitan Building. That's the side of Rikyu University and Ikebuk. Hey, got your phone. Rikyu University is also um, a, a big university, so lots of students come to Ikebukuro. It's also not far from uh, Gakushuin Daigaku, Gakushuin University, and Waseda University isn't too far away either. So this makes it kind of a, a breeding ground for young students, young kids. All right, you know what? I don't, I don't know where I'm going. Just, just go straight, I guess. So the east exit is, so I want to go to the east side? Oh my gosh. What a way to start the live stream, lost. I haven't been here, I, again, I used to work here. But I, I worked on the side that I came out on and I would take the same route. I would, I would get off of the modern Uchi line and walk straight to the office. I don't know where I'm going. Like, hold on a second. It says here west exit and west exit. How could you west exit north, west exit south? doesn't make any sense to me, so... Where are you going to Save it. I know, me too. Oh, Straight ahead. Oh, he's saving me. Ah, oh, it's good. Yeah, that's it. Seibu department store? Yes. Oh, wonderful. I'm lost for 10 minutes. Seibu <laughs> uh, department. There you go. Oh, America. Uh, Tokyo needs to name us. Uh, from New York. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is it. Awesome. Cebu. Yeah. So if I go upstairs, I can I can uh, see the Ike Fukuro Owl statue. Uh, Ike Fukuro Station. Right? Yeah, right here. Oh, perfect. Great. This is Cebu Department Store. Oh, okay, great. Uh, Saving department store. So, just go out the exit here. All right. No, this way. Department this way. All right, thank you. Yeah. Are you hungry? Short uh, money. Short money. Okay, I can help you out, my friend. Let's see what we got here. If, I, if without your help, I would not have been able to get to where I'm going. All right, brother. How much do you need here? Here you go. How much you need here? There you go. Get some. Hi. Hi. Good luck. 
All right. Part of the super chat went to this nice man to help me out. I think he needed to get some lunch. So I gave him about 800 yen. That should get him home and get, get, a, get some lunch. All right, you know what? I gotta get out of here. This is the first Kit Kat store was in, inside of Sabre Department Store as well. That was funny. I just got saved by some dude. That was nice of him. So did he get paid? Yeah, I gave him about 850 yen. I just like dumped out all the coins. That's fine. If, if, he didn't, if he didn't save me, I would have been lost, stuck inside of Vicky Bakura Station forever. I kept giving him coins and then he just said stop. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. John's not lost anymore. So Cebu means west, but this doesn't make sense to me. Cebu, this kanji right here means west, right? But it's the east entrance. That's just really confusing. This used to be the largest department store in the world. They say that Cebu department store started in 1949. And there's a lot of history with this particular department store here. Purple Cat Audio, paying it forward. You got that right. That guy's lunch is on me. Ron Barth, thank you. And that's exactly what I just paid him about after, you know, YouTube takes its cut. Cebu department store uh, started in 1949. Um, really started to grow in the 1960s. Actually opened up a shop in Los Angeles in 1962 that went out of business in 1964. People just went out of pure curiosity. Um, it's one of the biggest department stores. It used to be the biggest department store in the world, I've been told, this particular branch. Uh, it is the, I don't know, the epitome of a department store. It is the, the classic department store um, trying to evolve and save itself. But now it's part of the uh, 7-Eleven group, the 7-I Holdings group, which owns like almost half the world right now. Uh, they also are, are the owners of The Loft, which now belongs to Seven Holding, I believe. And I think they had a stake in Mujirushi. So I wanted to start here on the Cebu side, but that took 17 minutes to get here. I was saved by a nice man who I guess seemed kind of homeless, but paid for Take care of the people around you. He took care of us, we take care of him. Hello. I did have a 10,000 yen note, but I think he wouldn't have change, right? <laughs> like I was, I was gonna give him the 10. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what's this? Star Wars pop-up shop. Oh, this is the Becker's Cafe. This is a very famous meeting spot here. All right, there's an owl statue. I can't remember where, it, where it's at, but this is the hand statue. So if you're meeting friends, say, I'll meet you in front of the, the hand statue, the mother's hand. That looks like Kanai and Leo. It's the mama's hand statue. So you can meet in front of here. It's a good place to meet people. Or, or what you could do, young people just say, meet you in front of Becker's which is the restaurant there. Um, now, I want to tell you about the meaning of Ikebukuro. So this kanji here, it's, it's, it's pretty hilarious. Okay, does anybody know what Ikebukuro, the, the, the literal translation of Ikebukuro is? Our Ike means pond. Or is it Ike? Bukuro means bag. So it literally means pond bag. So welcome to pond bag. <laughs> Anything with bag in it's not a good thing. Like scum, scumbag or, you know. You can pond bag. That just doesn't sound attractive. So welcome to Pond Bag, a.k.a. Ikebukuro. Uh, it's a very busy place. This is the central, this is the exit I usually come out. I don't know how I got lost so bad. I guess because I never take the Yurakucho line, which is on the other side. Now, these days it could be considered Prada bag because it's where a lot of luxury shops are. There's the big camera over there. 
And I believe that if you walk a little bit further, you can go to the other side uh, by passing the station. So let's go on a walk here. This is supposed to be a short life. Well, look at all those smokers. That's where that f the fog is coming from there. It's like a smoker's area. It's pretty nasty. All right, let's keep moving, <coughs> moving on. Oh my God, you don't even need a cigarette to go in there. You could just, if you need a smoke, you could just go in there and just hang out for 10 minutes. You probably get the same in, in effect. It's pretty strong there. Uh, I'll start looking at the uh, live chat a little bit more now. I was, when I'm lost, I'm kind of freaking out, so I didn't do that as much. Nasha Brock, do they have Cebu egg salad sandwiches? They, they might. You telling me I should go and check out there? Maybe on the way back. Cebu. West. It's never walking. Iken is here. Thank you, Iken from Australia. I saw that. And Train Freak Cow 12. Appreciate it. Our friends in Australia. Friend down there, down under, where they got winter. It's a little bit colder. Smoked salmon. That's good. So there's a lot of places to go. We're going to go the main street, how to, to walk over to, uh, uh, to the shopping area. And it is a pretty lively place. They have TVs blasting, music out there. You feel sort of like it's Shibuya, but it's bigger than life. Check it out. I mean, I'm just gonna pan across, now that I'm a little bit further away, pan across the, the Parco department store. I guess this was used to all be Cebu. Parco is a little bit younger um, fashion. A little bit of a younger uh, feel, uh, brand. And then Cebu is right here at the department store. Again, it's absolutely massive. Um, they do have a beer garden on the roof. I don't know if it's open now, but uh, I have spent some time on that in that beer garden. I think, but it was hard to get to to the beer garden, so you had to walk all the way down to that elevator. I think there's so many different entrances. Yes, there really is. Really, aren't a lot of people at Ikebukura right now. Let's just let's just cross our fingers because it is the rainy season and it's been raining all day and all night. So. Uh, we had thunderstorms, really, really powerful thunderstorms last night. So keep your fingers crossed that it does not rain. The last time I was here, I think, was with Jennifer in a live stream where Jenny and I had, had shot an episode on uh, sushi. And, uh, yeah, we did a quick live stream after that. All right. Welcome to Ikebukuro's west side. We're heading towards Sunshine City, Sun, Sunshine City. So we're in this region, and uh, in that area, there are a load of uh, shopping options, places to to eat, street food, things like this. And we'll see what we can find. You know, I have not been in this area for a very long time, and things might have changed. Uh, I'm gonna kind of walk off of the crowded sections around to the side here. If you do see something that I need to, if, if you do see something and, and you, you know this area quite well, let me know and uh, I will s take a quick uh, look-see at that. Because I'm here because a lot of you cannot be. Checking out all of the Tokyo neighborhoods before uh, the summer season just to see what's here and what's not. Again, we've lost a lot of businesses, a lot of uh, places that uh, were staples of the city of Tokyo are gone, like the Sega World number two building. Akihabara has been very, very hard hit, but I'm guessing Ikipakuro is just fine because it's more of a domestic place. I know we do get a lot of foreign travelers will come here, but it doesn't have the same appeal as Harajuku, Shibuya, Shinjuku, Ginza, uh, Ueno, even uh, Akihabara and Okachimachi. This is a little bit away from there, but a lot of people will stay in this neighborhood. Uh, we're, uh, sure, we are working on a Kabukicho uh, night tour um, with uh, uh, Tokyo Sam, who <laughs> probably will be able to protect me from the people who would normally try to attack me. 
two is better than one. Having a, having a wingman is important. And he knows the area pretty well. He's been here for 14 years. I don't know what this, this is. I guess they burn trash or something, this tower here. But it's also a symbol of Igebukuro. <laughs> These are really lousy symbols. This, this plain tower. I guess it's a trash in, incinerator. I don't, I'm not sure. Hey, welcome to the main shopping street here. It's pretty vibrant. If there is a live camera of Igebukuro, I'm probably right in it right now, waving my hand. I don't know where they are located here. Alexander, another YouTuber that's one of the original J vloggers. He was started up in like 2006 or 2007 when YouTube was a big, was just starting out, and um, he's, he was friends with Tokyo Kuni, um, my partner in crime for NHK's Tokyo Eye, and Kevin Kuni was the reason why one of the reasons why I started YouTube because we would talk quite a bit about YouTube when we were trapped in these NHK location shoot vans. And he had a, a very popular channel at the time with, uh, I think, 35,000 subscribers. This is back in, when, when, when were we doing? 2009 and 2010, all right? Uh, Kevin had, he had, he had about 30, 35,000, 40,000 subscribers, and that was a massive amount back then. And uh, we would just talk about lots of things, but one of them was, you know, his YouTube channel. And he was one of the, one of the first people in, in Japan that was, was able to monetize his content because of the following and I I believe so it's like everything's like um, when was it 2009 that's like 13 years ago so I'm trying to recall conversations from 13 years ago but he made enough for like beer money like a couple hundred dollars a month or something which is which is a big deal and now youtubers are making millions of dollars I haven't seen any of that but we're doing good you know YouTube can be a career and if it wasn't for Kevin and, and uh, seeing that and he would walk down the streets uh, when we were filming and, and other travelers would stop him in 2009 and go, hey, you're Tokyo Kuni and, and get, ask for his autograph. And I remember me, the cameraman, the director, we would stop and go, wait, so he's more well known from his YouTube channel than he is from working here at NHK. Yeah, we were kind of proud, proud to be working with him. Celebrity. Time, life moves super fast. Super fast. Wow, this is so empty. Seriously, students usually have lots of free time, so they would be here, but they're not. Here's Namco. Namco, I think inside of the, um, uh, is this, inside of the Sunshine Building has a couple of theme parks. They used to have a big manga-inspired theme park that went out of business in a, a J-Town or something. Went out of business in 2019 because they didn't have enough people uh, coming to visit it. Igibakuro in general, it's it's always in a... It's like all the other parts of the city of Tokyo. It's it's always in, in uh, uh, fluctuating, growing. Things are going out of business and new things are coming in because there's so much foot traffic here. There's the Sunshine 60 building right there right in front of us so you, i usually like to go outside to enter unless it's raining but you can go completely underground to get there again the sunshine city uh built in 1960s sorry 1978 i'm sorry on the site of the old sugamo prison four buildings the tallest 60 stories high 240 meters high considered the tallest building in asia at the time um now it's not it's a little bit old but it's still a nice place to come and, and hang out. And uh, there's a lot of shops, of course. I guess we'll get a, I guess we're right underneath it. They do have pink mailboxes. Oh, hey. So I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send uh, some postcards from this one here. I don't wanna forget, last time I forgot. So this is going out to uh, Ida in Singapore. And I remember Ida because she did the artwork uh, beautiful artwork of Kanai and I, a portrait of us. So Ida, Ida, nickname is I in Singapore, and Joshua Young. Joshua, this is yours, coming your way. It's coming down under. 
Thanks so much for joining the postcard club from Ike Bakuro, from a, a pink, pink one. Singapore and Australia. <laughs> All right, let's take a right here. See what we can find. Uh, it is worth exploring some of the alleys around here too. We do have some taiyaki, but I just ate the taiyaki in, in uh, Askusa. Do they have some weird flavors? Maybe they have something bizarre like... Wait, what the heck is that? Dudes, this is a chili dog. A chili, a taiyaki chili dog. Is that worth it? What? It has chili spice and what is, what is that? Everyone's saying don't do it. <laughs> why, why, why shouldn't I do this? Get it, Ricky says get it. Everyone says do it. I've never seen a, a taiyaki stick its tongue out like that. It's pretty creepy. All right, we gotta do it. All these students are on the way now. Hi. Okay. Alcohol in my hands. Hi. Whoa. They got a lot of options here. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Whoa! Oh, they have the owls! Interesting. Pist is that pistachio cream? Whoa! Pistachio cream! Oh, I think I made a mistake. Alright, let's move away from some of these people and then find a corner. Right here is good. This abandoned sushi shop here. Hi! I guess is there like a sign on my shirt that says I'm going to give everybody money? <laughs> what happened? I guess he, he he told his friends they marked me. It's unusual that you just come up to somebody and ask for money. So I'm gonna walk over here. You give a good a little bit unusual place. Yes, some guy just asked me for money. That was random. I mean, I'm cool and all that, but like, it's just weird in Japan. It doesn't happen. I have a weak heart. It could be from all the fast food I've been eating. All right, you know what? I think I'll just hang out in this parking lot here. I'm famous with the people who want money. All right, take my mask off here. Oh, all right. Somebody, wow, it says Sega on here. What? This is game food. This is game food. Yeah, you know what? I'm not rich. I'm rich from, from you guys, so. This is bizarre. It does look like a tongue. It, okay, from the front, it doesn't look so intimidating. But it looks like he burnt his tongue. He was eating some takoyaki and uh, something bad happened. It's, oh gosh, I, you know what? This doesn't look as healthy as the other ones, but can't be as bad. Taiyaki is taiyaki, right? You'd think, all right, let's, I might not eat the whole thing. Just bear with me. That's, it's, it's sad to see his head gone. It's like a spicy, yeah, pink, pink in a blanket. Oh, I like the chili sauce. Hmm. I'm not gonna finish it all because somebody said that I was getting fat and 
I should be on a diet, so. I, I have, I, when it comes to criticism, I take it pretty well. I don't get offended ever. Because I don't, I don't know the people saying it, right? It's what doesn't bother me, but it bothers other people. So when, when uh, um, I hear names being called of my friends, I get pretty upset. You know, when people are calling my friend uh, Lex Luthor, Jeff Bezos, because of a, a wide-angle lens I used on him in an episode, I took offense to that. All right? Stick up for your friends. But if you guys can call me Karate Kid all day, I'm cool with that. Because, you know, I could take him. If I ever meet Machio in the streets, I could totally take him. I'd probably jump him like a Cobra Kai would. Strike first, no mercy. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm in front of the, the awesome store. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's rock and roll. Um, Ikebukuro is also quite famous for love hotels, and I get a feeling that this is the direction of the love hotels. When a love hotel is called Hotel California or Hotel Sparkling or some really weird name, nine times out of ten it's a love hotel, okay? You can tell by the name. It's just, there's a lot of love going on in there. You pay by the hour. Um, if you're not familiar with love hotels, when we had a hotel crunch about four years ago, three years ago, the city of Tokyo was encouraging tourists to stay in the love hotels because they couldn't find accommodations. And love hotels you can't actually make a reservation for. Um, now you can start to see the Sunshine 60 building. Do you see that up there? So that's the top of the Sunshine 60, one of the tallest buildings of Asia back in its day. Now it's not quite as tall, but... Yeah, the love hotels are first come, first serve, and each room is it has like a theme to it. Oh, there's TGI Fridays. You know, they have servers there and you don't tip um, TGI Friday servers here in Japan. So when, when it came to Uber Eats, you know, I was just confused the other day. I, I raised the question, do you tip your Uber Eats drivers in Japan where you don't tip services? And Uber Eats started to ask me for tips at the end of the transaction. And then at, at, after they delivered it and I gave them a good, I always give positive reviews unless it's like really bad. Um, they asked if I want to increase my tip. It's like, really? This is Japan, you're not supposed to tip. It's a good look at food truck, better than my chili dog. Taco bowl, what? Right, let's just take a quick look, see. Whoa. Taco bowl. That might be a good lunch, but there's no table. All right, we'll be back. Let's go, let's rove around and see what we can find. I'm here for the shopping too. <clears throat> that chili dog's sticking with me. My mask smells like chili now. <laughs> I'm breathing in some spices. Oh. So Ikebukuro, uh, again, this is the site of the prison back in uh, well, a long time ago. And I guess they had a pond here because the name Ikebukuro means um, pond bag. I'm not sure why, how bag got in, I'm not sure the origin of Ikebukuro, but pond bag is a pretty creepy name. Um, just saying. Oh, there's a Toho Cinemas. See a movie. It's not after the pandemic. Um, a, a buddy of mine just got the invitation for vaccination and he's in his 50s, so I'm guessing um, I'm not too far away. But there's a lot of vaccination places here in Tokyo where, like, uh, not at the mass vaccination sites. They're 80% they're vacant. Nobody is booking for these places that have the vaccine. So, uh, we, Kanai and I called the, um, our ward. We live in Chuo Ward. There's 23 wards in the city of Tokyo. Uh, and asked them, and says, look, a buddy of ours in one area of the city, he got, he just called up and got, got the vaccination reservation for July 1st. So why can't we 
<clears throat> get that here. We have the, like a number, but we don't have a ticket yet. And they said we have to wait for the ticket in Chua Ward, which is where I live. And so I, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get vaccinated, but hopefully in July before the Olympics would make me very happy. That's the last place Jennifer and I had lunch. I, I treated Jennifer to some donuts. They got some weird ones, like donuts tied in a knot. Urze's in the house. I stayed at a net cafe on the west side, and there's also a restaurant with the best ramen I've tasted in, in Tokyo. Hope it's still open. Um, I'm confused with the east and the west. Cebu is west, it's, it, but it's on the east side, and Tobu, which is east, is on the west side. It's, it's very confusing to me. Maybe I'll just go to the other side. I'm going to give up this side because I'm just confused. What is that? Looks like dolls. A doll cafe. Jayton Nagpal. India was the same. Delay in vaccinations to willing young people let the that led to the d disaster we faced. Right now, um, it's the people in their 20s and 30s that are spreading it and getting the sickest right now. And they won't get vaccinated for a while. Older people are just not going outside or putting themselves in risk because they're smarter. <laughs> they're smart. So I'm not sure. Um, but I, if you do get sick and you're older, you have a higher chance of, of um, getting really sick. And I think that that's, it's good to vaccinate um, our seniors first. Although I think you should be vaccinating everybody quickly. Um, you know what? I, I think I'll go this, this direction. I'm, I'm trying to look and see what we have here. This is Lobby, which is an electronic store. It's massive in scale. It's pretty big. Everything in Ikebukuro is just bigger. And I think they had more land. Where Shinjuku, Shibuya, these are all um, pretty established places before. Ikebukuro, I guess, was a pond. Again, the name is Pond Bag. So I guess they had just, just had more space here. I know that rent cheaper here and it could be because it's, it's uh, a little bit of an uh, older not renovated uh, a little bit the infrastructure seems older here in Toshima Ward but it is a very convenient place walking down the street left and right you have some interesting you have loads of options if you're if you're looking for places to eat there's a McDonald's there's Taiyaki right on this corner here we can go take a look at I guess Taiyaki is famous in Ikebukuro I just had one Wow, McDonald's has melon soda? Really? And they have grape? That grape looks like purple. Interesting. Taiyaki place. Looks local. Looks local. Oh, I remember coming to this side. There's the B Hotel. I don't know if anyone stayed there. Oh, this guy just crossed the street on a red light. If you if you cross on the white areas, then uh, if you cross on the white areas, then you have to wait for the red light. But if you cross right outside the line here you don't have to wait i guess so i'm gonna i'm gonna follow everybody else if you cross here you don't have to wait but it's green anyways it's weird tokyo is very strict if you do decide to color outside the outside the lines it doesn't matter so much yeah shout out to to uh, peter peter von gom who is the creator of serial talker a new podcast on the internet you check it out on, on uh, iTunes as well as on YouTube. And I'm looking forward to, to meeting up with Peter. We're going to, uh, yeah, PVG. We're good. I, I, I want to go with him uh, to a World War II, uh, former site of a prison camp uh, that it just depends on the weather and our schedules. It's been raining all day. This wasn't the best day to go out there and do it. So as soon as the weather's nice and our schedules allow, we're going to go and, and uh, visit that 
but he's got a really good it's it's kind of a show where you can sit back and listen about crime because Peter is attracted to crime and criminals and stuff whoa this is like some kind of pet cafe there's no pets that ramen looks pretty good though Look at the Ajitama. Mars in the house. Konnichiwa from Texas. Can you say hi to my husband? Tai! Hey, Tai! He's in Tokyo. Hope to visit soon. How you doing, Tai? Welcome. We have a lot of viewers from Texas, too. It's awesome. Direct flights on American Airlines from Dallas, I think. All right, you know what? I need to get a drink. Oh, this is the way to around the tracks. All right, we're gonna try to cut around because I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to cut through that station again. I need to get something to get rid of this chili sauce in my mask. I'm knocking myself out because the chili sauce is pretty strong and it's, it's all I smell. Oh, look, black tea, black bean tea. You think that's gross? Should we try this? Black bean tea. It's, seems unusual. I gave all my coins to that homeless guy. Hold on a second. I had one, my last hundred yen. Although the peach soda looks good right there. Oh, it's good hot or cold. All right, let's cross it straight here. I don't know but what that is, but I like beans. Question mark. <laughs> okay. Not all of the uh, not all of the vending machines uh, have uh, um, icy card readers. That one didn't, but the one next to it did. Left one didn't, but the Keaton one did. Very weird. Nick Chong's in the house. What's up, brother? You're finally in Ikebakuro. After all these mentions of it, here's some for the Ringo apple pie on me. I miss that so much. I think that's in the station. I'm going to have to bring back one for Kanai. I just have to be back by, by like 2 o'clock-ish. That's pretty good. It doesn't taste like like a burrito, or if that's what you're asking. It doesn't taste like a burrito. It's not sweet, which is good. It's refreshing. It has kind of a nutty taste to it. But there's a natural sweetness in there somewhere on the side. Glenn, don't go where Jim went yesterday, okay? Hello, hi, 821 got, you got banned. It timed out. We don't want to get timed out there. Right, Hakata Ramen. Whoa. So this looks like a really authentic area of the city across the street from uh, near the B Hotel. There's some pretty good looking ramen places. This stuff looks authentic. Hakata Ramen is um, um, tonkotsu, uh, pork bone. So it's quite thick. Wow, all right, let's explore these streets here. Just hope more, more of the guy's friends are coming after me for cash handouts. I don't, I'm, I'm a marked man. Wow. All right, just got a message from uh, Bela. Illinois is, is uh, reopening and that's good news. It's a lot of the places in the US are starting to reopen and I'm really happy to hear that. Here in Japan, we're a little bit farther behind. Maruhan is a pachinko place, right? You can hear the pachinko mach machines 
hard at work in Mikado Game Center. Oh, Mikado is, um, they had the retro games in here. Let me just take a, I'm gonna see if I can get a quick look-see. Yeah, Mikado has, has retro games. I'm, I'm gonna pop in just for a second. Yeah, check that out. I don't wanna go in because they're quite strict with uh, filming, but. Um, the main shop for the Mikado that I filmed at once before in the past was uh, in Takara no Baba. And he had some amazing ones, including a Star Wars sit-down arcade game from 1982 or something. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It looks like a love hotel. This area feels pretty... Dodgy. I've been at this Yamaya before. They got some booze in here. Looks like a cave. Alright, this is a park where you can cross over to the other side, I believe. Let's see if there's an underground uh, passageway. We're pretty close to the uh, um, trash burning plant i believe that's what it is there's a shrine right here which is is pretty nice right in the middle of the street there not in the middle but it's like right off of the street N not exactly where you'd expect it to be across from the 7-eleven oh just a little bit of news i will be doing the um uh, fireworks festival again this year and um I'm going to be doing it in Nagano. That's what I'm, we're pretty sure on the location. Nagano had some um, awful flooding about um, uh, three years ago, 2019, two years ago, before the pandemic. Uh, there were some bad floods. And I don't know if some of you remember the images of the Shinkansen in Nagano being really flooded. Um, water had risen and I believe they had to, to throw out or recycle 180 Shinkansen, like a massive amount of Shinkansen. So that was, um, that, that, I know that area is, is a little bit forgotten because of Tohoku and all of the lives we lost up there, but uh, Nagano, there's some places hurting pretty bad everywhere, but it looks like we're gonna do it there because they got some big skies and some big fireworks and they're willing to accommodate us. So Ricky remembers that. I got my raincoat here. Just in case it starts to pour down, I am ready for anything, including some people spitting on me. I'll be able to dodge them. Somebody got angry at me in the comments because I, I didn't say I didn't say vaccination. I, I called them jabs. I said we need to get some more jabs. So somebody yelled at me on Instagram and said, "How dare you call it a jab? Call it a vaccine." So there's always there's always people who are who get very uh, uh, touchy with little things. Kind of. So I'm going to call them jabs now just to make that person upset. <laughs> it's just like to be a rebel. I believe in the UK they call them jabs. So. All right. No sleeping in the park. Please be quiet. Late evening and early morning. Why, why would a kid be? Oh, because there are kids sleeping in the area. Hold your dog at all times. Bring your pet's droppings back home so you could collect them, I guess throw them out no bike riding in the park dangerous activities like skateboarding if you're good at skateboarding is it really dangerous though just questions i got let's leave the pigeon alone today so i don't know this neighbor this isn't my neighborhood i don't know it as well you don't want to mess with the pigeons in a neighborhood you're not not familiar with Oh, okay, here's the underground um, passageway to the other side, I think. Yes, somebody got angry because I didn't... I, I also called it an old lady shop. It was just like, uh, you know, off, off, my, off the cuff comment and was get really offended. It's like, well, the only people going in there are, you know, people that are a little bit older. What are you going to do? I think the era of being offended real easily 
has uh, kind of takes the fun out of everything. All right, we're going underneath, underground here to the other side. All right, if we lose the signal, just bear with me. We're going down the Wee Road, which just feels like Wee Wee here. All right, we're, we're exiting the Wee Road, which smelled like Wee. All right, refresh your screens. We're back. Uh, we're out of the Wee Road. And again, it did smell like Wee in there. Wee Wee. So, appropriately named. All right, we're on the other side again. Uh, I'm gonna take you on this. I, I thought it was gonna be more on the west side, but it's so quiet over there. I'm gonna take you around an area where they have some ramen and stuff because we got a super chat saying this is where the best ramen was on this side. Let's take a look at a map real quickly, give you some bearings uh, an hour in. So there's the Wee Road, now famous. This took us through here, and uh, we're gonna go to this side of it, which is the Ikebukuro Entertainment area. Um, and then we'll end it right there. Um, this shop right here, where the Yoshinoya is, used to be my favorite Katsudon restaurant, 500 yen. They wouldn't play any music in there. Now it's a Yoshinoya. Or was it this shop here where there's a, there's a Chinese uh, shop here? I can't remember, it was either this one or this one. But another homeless guy being helped out by the cops. Yeah, I'm gonna duck into here then. I'm getting creeped out. In the 1980s, a lot of people from China came. Let's let the car pass. Small, narrow street. Well, thanks for stopping right here. Come on. Really? Just wants to get the advertisement. In the 1980s, a lot of immigrants from China came and moved to Ikebukuro, and it was uh, quite a vibrant area with Ch Chinese restaurants. Uh, I'm guessing that this area is inspired by that because there's a lot of good ramen here. And ethnic neighborhoods, uh, again, um, where is it? Near Shinjuku, Okubo is very famous for having a lot of Korean restaurants, a Korean settlement there. And they have, of course, some of the best yakiniku restaurants in Japan, as well as some really uh, interesting um, Asian supermarkets where you can get stuff that you can't get ordinarily other places. So if you're looking for, for um, ingredients to cook, sometimes you can find things you can't find anywhere else there in Okubo. James, James Ishiguro, I'm sending this. I'm just sending this to see if you can read it. It's confirmation. Confirmation. All right, I remember where I am. It's pretty vibrant here. I mean, in, in terms of colors and signs and shops and stuff, not in terms of people because it's uh, an entertainment district and it's uh, more vibrant at night, <clears throat> of course. But this area, this side of Ikebukuro, which is the west side, which I thought was the east side because Tobu is on the east side, on the west side, but Tobu, the to means east. It's so confusing to me. Where Cebu means west, the Se in the Cebu means west, but that's on the east side. I don't. It's confusing. So this is the east west side. <laughs> I don't know anymore. And it's this has been uh, the businesses have changed a lot. I see a lot of places that weren't here before. This looks like a. Um, I don't remember this show, this um, being here. This is a Taiwan 
dish. So very, inf- very much influenced by uh, China. And you can actually, if, if I remove my mask to smell the non chili odors, it does smell a little bit like, like Hong Kong. See one of the crows gone missing. Toby is not welcome in this town. As I hear a crow in the distance. Oh, don't mention that name. Look what happened. Hello, hi, 821. Are you looking for another <laughs> timeout? Really? Come on, I'm already kind of creeped out from this town. Getting approached by, you know, a nice guy who asked for money. And then one of his buddies asking for more. You know, I, why didn't he just share some of the money I gave him with, the, with his friend? I don't know. I'd be happy. Romance Street. This is called Romance Street. What? As the garbage truck goes by. Romance Street, everybody. You can feel the love here. It smells like Hong Kong. Which smells really good. It smells, it's making me hungry. Ah, Hachijojima! This is an island in, in, the, in Tokyo, and I guess they have island food here? But Hachijojima is not that big. I guess they have some pretty unique cuisine here. Check it out, some fish. Kusaya is very famous. Ah, oh, the, yeah, there's kusaya, which is stinky, fermented, uh, sorry, dried fish. It smells so bad, but it's, you know, people like it. Some people like it. Now let's take a left here at, at, Roman, at the end of Romance Street. Head back towards Ikebukuro Station. So, you know, I hope you're getting a, a vibe of what Ikebukuro has to offer. Uh, we didn't see everything. I think you can, you can spend some more time uh, looking through the alleys, but uh, definitely a place where you want to come if you have uh, about a week in Tokyo. But again, there are, there are other neighborhoods that are more, more interesting maybe to you with more a- attractions. But sometimes you're looking for a place that, where the place is the attraction, and that would be Ikebukuro. That would be here. Sorry, it seems like the signal's going in and out a little bit. Maybe if I get to this main street here, it'll come back. We're live here in, in Tokyo today in Ikebukuro. Oh, I smell the curry here. It smells great. Katsukare. Oh. Oh, this ramen shop is just opening up. Oh, they got people hanging out outside of it. It's got to be good. What's it called here? Got to come back when it, when I have more time. Ringo apple pie, the best on earth. I saw that. I'm, I'm going to... I, I, I think I know where it is in the station, so I got to pick it up inside of there. And I'll take a couple back from Kanai, and I'll put it up on Instagram stories for you, okay? I'll put it to good use. Kanai needs some Ringo pie. They are quite good. There's a little bit of custard in there, I believe. It's, it's, it's pretty addictive. All right, I hope, that, I hope it's not as blurry as uh, the signal is getting okay. Is the signal okay, everybody? Sounds good. So I want to say thank you to everybody for watching uh, this live stream. It's been interesting. I'm going to end it right in the Metropolitan uh, Building here, right where the uh, Center for the Arts, and give a shout out to the people, the artistic people of the world, because this is a, a really good place to watch um, ballet or something artistic here. It's pretty big, isn't it? That, that purple building with the glass windows there. We were here about uh, about uh, 
50 minutes ago as I was lost and came up on the wrong side. But there's a huge pavilion. This is a great place if you want to take a bento and just hang out here. You can do that at the Metropolitan uh, uh, Building. And I used to eat my bento outside or have a beer with other uh, English teachers after finishing a shift at, at GABA back in 2006. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Wow, it seems ages ago. This global ring wasn't here back then. So they have a stage outside, that's interesting. Interesting. All right, so there you have it. I hope this gives you a, a vibe of, of Ikebukuro. Uh, it's, it's a shopping paradise. You can get street food, but it's mostly a place where there's um, uh, chain restaurants on the west, on the east side and on the west side, a lot more chain restaurants. There's an entertainment area that's uh, sort of like a Chinatown, lots of ramen in there, some pretty good ramen. Um, there are some local businesses here, but I'm seeing a lot of them have gone out of business and, and have been replaced by chain restaurants, which seems to be um, the trend everywhere, which is a shame. But, you know, it's a reality of the, the situation that we're in. You're very welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another live stream. Until then, have a nice day and see you from Tokyo, Japan. Thanks, Michael Sasano. Hi, John. Just in case you come across something that you'd like to eat or drink, thanks for taking us on this walking tour. I will bring back some stuff for Kanai. I will not go home empty-handed, Michael, and I really appreciate it. Bye, folks. <laughs>